Okay, this is Laura with Jot and Tittle Typewriters. Thanks so much for joining me today. It is a beautiful fall Saturday, and I am showing off a 1961 Smith Corona Sterling to you in beige. This is a good everyday, everybody typewriter. This one does show a little bit signs of wear. You can look at the um, pictures in the description link below, um, but not a lot. Overall, it still looks excellent. We've put in a new um, logo. We had one made for this. Uh, we've cleaned it up and tested it, and I'm gonna show you how this works, but this is just a great typewriter to have on hand. I think everybody should have a typewriter to have on hand because there are just times when you need to shut everything off all the news, all the social media, just turn off your computer, sit down and write. And um, you just, it, there's just so much peace and calm and you're a better writer when you're not um, interrupted and distracted all the time. So whether you write every day or just every once in a while, this is a really good typewriter for you. So I'm gonna start from the back and uh, show you how this typewriter works. So I'm gonna pop this up right here and um, and push this back piece open. It took me a year and a half to figure out these things uh, opened up. But right here you'll see a metal bar with um, grooves in it and this is your tab, um, your tab bar. And these little keys are your tab stops or tab keys and you just slide it and you don't want to lose them. They're not attached so make sure you keep, even if you're not going to use them, put them all the way far on the ends or something because you don't want to lose them. But you just put them where you want to have your tabs. This particular typewriter has six tab keys in it. So I'm going to close this <clears throat> and put this back down. Okay, and then here's your margins and you just press and drag where you want your margins to be paper guide can go out or all the way in depending on what size paper you're using um, remember you can use some craft stock craft card stock on uh, these typewriters so if you want to type uh, postcards or something like that feel free to do so to release your carriage you pull in the lever on the side and it's behind the handle each has one on each side and you just move it and now remember the carriage is only going to move as far as you have the margin set so if I move that out it's going to move farther and the little bell which you can hear the bell sounds when you are at your margin to let you know hey you're at the margin you're going to have to hit your return handle and the hand when you hit your return handle it's going to take you back to the beginning and advance either one, two, or three lines. This is your line selector. Um, so you just put that where you want. Now on the right side of the carriage, there's also a lever in the back and that releases the tension on your paper. So if it loads crooked, which we'll try that in a minute, then you can adjust it. On this side, you barely even see it, but there's a little lever right here. I don't even know if you can see it in the video but when you get it, you'll see it. Now, what that does, if you pull it down, this releases the roller, and so that the roller is like free, you don't hear the click, click, click. Um, and that's just so you can line up whatever it is you're working on. Maybe you've put in lined paper and you need to get um, the type lined up just right. That's what that is for. Just make sure you remember to re-engage it so that um, it will advance properly. I'm gonna move this to the left. Oh, I need to move my margin and then open the top and in here you'll see the ribbon spools now we've put in a universal ribbon which is a two inch spool and it will work on the smith corona sterlings you can get extra ones on our website at jotntittletypewriters.com we've put in a new one for you on this one when you do replace it make sure black is on the top red is on the bottom look at the images we have in the link that's in the description below so you can see how that's going to be threaded through those properly now even though the ribbon on this is pretty short there's a lot of ink in it and so when you get to the end of the spool you need to reverse the direction you do that right here on the left side and you go back and forth dozens and dozens of times before you need to replace your ribbon. Just use up that ink and know the ink does not dry out. It will take years 
years to dry out. So, um, that's, it's not water-based, you know, the ink doesn't dry out. It takes a long time. Okay. So over here is, um, your touch selector and all that does is determine how hard these type bars are going to strike your paper. You just adjust that to your personal preference. Mostly it doesn't do much, of, make much of a difference. If you are looking for your serial number on your typewriter and you have a Smith Corona Sterling like this one, you open up the top and look on the left side and imprint it on the frame, you will find the serial number and you can use that to find out how old your typewriter is. Um, okay, color selector right here, black, red, make sure it's firmly in each setting and not in the middle. The middle is white, which is a, a I just lost the word for it, a uh, stencil. And, um, but it, it's not anything you're going to need. And um, if it's on there, it's actually not going to type properly. And there's nothing wrong with your typewriter. It's just needs to be in black or red firmly. Okay. Let's go ahead and do our typing demo. Okay. So now I'm going to load my paper and I just set it right there against the paper guide and roll that through. I'm going to pull the bar forward. Go all the way up. Make sure it's even. Oh, look, I got that even. Woo! Yay. Okay. And now I'm going to check my margins. Make sure it's where they want them. And let's go ahead and do some typing. No, no number one. Use your lowercase l. So this is a 19. What did I say? 61. Oh, backspace. That feels really good. So this is a 10 uh, CPI, which would be like a Pika. Um, so it has bigger, which means it's bigger font. 10 CPI means 10 characters per inch. So that means it's bigger. You're going to have fewer words per line. Um, in just a little bit so we can hear the bell. Okay, so the bell is super faint. I mean, I, I probably, you may not have even heard it. It was like a barely ding, just so you know. So margin release right here through. Okay, let's go ahead and try the red. I'm going to go through and test every key, but right now it's just, it's typing very nice. Um, just as I said at the beginning, this is going to be a good everybody, everyday typewriter, whether your projects are long or short. The Sterlings are excellent typewriters. Um, really solid machine. I'm, I'm really liking this. They bounce back really nice. Oops. I didn't want the, uh, I want the shift lock. There we go. Uh, what keys are am I on? I hope you're enjoying this fine fall season and um, those of you looking for typewriters you're probably creative people so I hope you get out and get inspired and then come back and write something lovely so 
awesome type uh, backspace. I'm not typing well today. Typewriter. I'm not. That's a user error there. Great. Four creative writers. Students, authors. This is just a good every day, everybody machine. Amen. Hallelujah. Thanks for watching. What a great little typewriter. All right. I've got the hiccups now. I'll have a picture of this for you. Check out our links below. Thanks for being so patient with me today. Have an awesome day. Bye.